still being tallied by election workers in Baltimore City as several primary races remain too close to call a couple of days later as former Mayor Sheila Dixon has still not conceded to Mayor Brandon Scott. She's hoping those mail-in ballots will help her close that gap. Tara Lynch has an update now on where that count stands tonight. About 20,000 votes are being counted today in Baltimore City, and that could have a huge impact on the race for mayor. Now, incumbent Brandon Scott declared victory in the Democratic primary on Tuesday, while former Mayor Sheila Dixon said she's waiting until every vote has been counted. Ballot counting continues at a warehouse in West Baltimore. Election workers are sorting, scanning, and processing thousands of ballots from city residents, which could impact the race for the city's highest office. Everything has gone well today. The scanners are working. We have at least about 40 persons opening ballots, separating them from the envelope. It ain't over till it's over. Former Mayor Sheila Dixon is trailing incumbent Mayor Brandon Scott by about 6,000 votes. On Tuesday night, the former mayor made her message clear. So it's not over. I'm not throwing in the towel. The Dixon campaign said in a statement on Wednesday, it's waiting to make any further statement until every vote is accounted for. Meanwhile, Mayor Brandon Scott declared victory and said it's time to get to work. I want to extend my thanks to former Mayor Dixon for her passion for the city, for her years of service, and for her commitment to our residents and for a very, very hard-fought race. But now it's time to turn the page. Voter turnout in this primary was low, according to the Board of Elections, who says about 21% of registered voters went to the polls to make their voice heard in the city. Folks suffered and died behind the right to vote, and we need to exercise that right. The Board of Elections says we'll be back counting ballots tomorrow. That will be the remaining mail-in ballots and qualifying provisional ballots. For now, reporting in Baltimore, Tara Lynch, WJZ.